I'm Bob Tetiva, I'm founder and CEO of Sensorina. My name is Daniel Benes and I'm product director in Sensorina. We are uh, uh, pioneers in using virtual reality for uh, athletic training. We help uh, hockey players and tennis players improve their skills. We are concentrating to help athletes to train their brains more than their hard skills as a skating, swimming, strokes, but we are concentrating more on the mental aspect of the game. In the history of sport, everything has been concentrated on your physicality, you know, how many push-ups and pull-ups you can make, how strong athlete you are here and here. Uh, the fact how clever athlete you are has been neglected. This is actually our vision to help the athletes training their brain, which means in hockey for players it's about their hockey sense, for goalies it's about how they cope with anxiety, with stress, how they read releases of the puck from the shooter's stick, and for tennis players it's about ball anticipation, player recognition, decision making. A huge advantage of uh, VR is that we can simulate different conditions in the game. So you can train alone or alone with virtual teammates or we can simulate different conditions, for example in tennis, wind, different courts, grass, hard court, clay. We are concentrating to simulate the physics and stuff which players are used to feel, all our equipment. Uh, which we are producing are equipped with the haptic feedback. So for the hockey players, we are uh, producing the hockey stick mount with the haptic feedback. And for the tennis players, we have our special tennis racket again uh, as well with the haptic feedback. So the users or players feel the touches with the puck or with the ball in their hands. The other detail aspect which is very important is that their um, sports equipment doesn't change, so you know, for um, the hockey players obviously they use their own stick and we you know, attach uh, our technology on the stick. The same we have for goalies where we can through a special, we call it sleeves, you can attach uh, the controllers to um, the goalie gloves and then you know even hold a uh, goalie stick and again you are immersed with your equipment that you are used to on the tennis side we move this even further, which means that um, we designed a special tennis racket uh, where you again attach the controller of the MetaQuest headset and it's designed uh, to weight exactly what is the standard weight of a tennis racket. It has the same balance point. We have many, many contracts. So we have long-term contracts with five NHL teams. We have nine NCAA hockey programs partnering with us. We have around 40 NHL pro goalies and uh, then number of European pro clubs as well. So um, altogether more than 10,000 users. We came from the US Open uh, a week ago where we uh, ran a series of demos to pro players and coaches and, and team members. I should mention that um, our main advisor on the tennis side is Martina Navratilova, tennis legend, Hall of Famer, with 59 Grand Slam titles. When the whole journey started, um, it was you know me and um, Nikolai, our CTO, two computers and a 3D printer. To be completely honest, our first 3D printer was not Prusa one. It lasted uh, only for couple of months and then we decided we, we need to have a professional solution so we got our first Pro Shavan and since then it's been always like that. We started with one and four or five years ago for the prototyping. Once we launched the new products on the Oculus Quest we started to produce the accessories on the 3D printing so we bought uh, another 10 printers and from that time it's running non-stop. 3D printing helps us a lot in prototyping phase of the products because we can easily create prototypes, we can test them, adjust them. In case of hockey, we are using the 3D printing for the mass production. In case of tennis, the 3D printing works for the prototyping and we will move to other technology to produce the mass production of the tennis racket.
And to be honest, it's about the mobility as well, because, for example, during COVID times, when the offices was uh, closed, I move some <laughs> printers to my home and I can immediately start printing at home. So it's uh, easy to manage. You can easily uh, design a 3D model and printed it right away. So we have our uh, printing farm here in, in our office, so we can easily have the, the prototypes within within day, within within a few days, and we can we can immediately start testing the product. If we didn't have the 3D printers from Prusa, we had to find another solution, but this solution was very quick, very easy to implement, and it, it works.